our beloved friend Mario is a savior to the Mushroom Kingdom, but he's actually supposed to be a plumber. Or, you know, this is what I thought, because according to this other series, Mario is actually a doctor. Dr. Mario, that has a nice ring to it, but there's just one thing that ain't okay though, it's actually fake news. Hey, I'm your boy Nico, and here are 10 reasons why Dr. Mario is not a doctor. So, if you've played a little bit of Dr. Mario, then you'd know this guy is basically just throwing pills in a giant bottle and hope to cure all of the illnesses by doing so. But you know, pills is not the answer to every problems a patient can have. You know, what if I broke my finger, okay? Just swallowing a pill won't really help me. I'll need surgery or something, you know? Dr. Mario never proved that he is capable of a surgery or anything that doesn't involve just throwing away pills at you. And does he even think of the pills' interactions? Who knows if the red pill and the yellow pill can be swallowed together? Maybe that will kill the patient and not only the virus. What an irresponsible fake doctor he is. Alright, since we're on the subject of pills, does Mario even know what pills he's giving out? I mean, look at him, he's just basically taking his pills from a big bag where they're all mixed together. There are a lot of different pills with different colors in the world and a lot of them look very similar. And if it's blue, it doesn't mean it's the only blue pill that exists in the world. But this guy here, Dr. Mario, all he does is grab one at random and throws it in hope of killing the viruses. That's not a very smart thing to do, and I'm sure mixing all of those pills in that bag isn't really good either. I mean, I'm not a doctor myself, but I mean, come on, Mario doesn't seem really qualified to be a doctor. Usually, if you feel bad or something, you go to the ER or the clinic and you see a doctor. He looks at you, he finds what's wrong and usually prescribes something, a treatment or a pill or whatever. Then you take that lovely prescription and you go to see the pharmacist and he's the one that's gonna give you the pill and explain everything to you. But our boy Dr. Mario here, he's skipping all of those steps. He's not taking a minute to look at you and your problems, he just throws the pills into the mix and he hopes that these pills will eventually heal you. First off, that's illegal. Second off, he's not even doing his job, he's stealing the pharmacist's job here. Dr. Mario is supposedly a doctor, not a freaking pharmacist. How dare you steal jobs in such a fragile economy, Mario? I'm pretty sure that Mario is not a doctor, and you might wonder why. Well, take a look at this. Here, Mario is an astronaut, with his spacesuit and everything. Here, he's an attorney, and now a race car driver? An astronomer? A forest ranger? Like, seriously, what the heck is all of this? All of these pictures come from a game called Super Mario Bros. and Friends when I grow up. This game depicts Mario doing various jobs in the Mushroom Kingdom. And, I mean, if Mario can dress up in any costume for any job like this, then this might explain why he's doing such a poor job as a doctor. He's not even one. He's just pretending to be a doctor, just like he's pretending to be a teacher, a scientist, a carpenter, and even more. Don't you see? He just has many costumes that he likes to wear. He is not qualified to do any of these jobs. Shocking. Since Mario loves pretending so much, let's also pretend that he's a good and qualified doctor. You'd think his pills would have eradicated the viruses by now, but no, 
This is not what happens at all. In all of the Dr. Mario games, you always have to keep giving out pills over and over and over and over again. It never ends. Maybe those pills won't solve all of the problems, Mario. Maybe you should send them see a specialist. Maybe you're not up to the challenge. I mean, come on, Mario. Even if you were a doctor, you gotta know your limits, man. You have the lives of many patients in your hands. Be smart for once. Come on. Alright, I think we've pretty much established that Dr. Mario is most definitely not a real doctor. We should maybe try to convince someone close to him to try to speak sense into him. How about we ask his brother Luigi to take care of Mario? What? Dr. Luigi? Are you kidding me? Come on Luigi, I thought you were not an idiot and now you do that to me? You too pretend to be a doctor? Oh my gosh, what qualifications does it take to be a doctor in the Mushroom Kingdom if both Mario and Luigi apparently are? But wait, wait, okay, maybe Dr. Luigi is indeed a real doctor. Let's see how he does his job. Oh my, are, are you serious? You throw a bunch of L-shaped pills and hope it eradicates the viruses? Seriously, I'm done now. These guys are completely insane. What's next? Nurse Peach? <laughs> oh. Are you kidding me? This next proof is rock solid. Who's the original creator of Mario? Shigeru Miyamoto. So, if someone knows anything, and I mean literally anything about Mario, it has to be him. Well, in a video posted by Nintendo UK, Miyamoto was asked many questions regarding Mario, and one of them was, would you let Dr. Mario operate you? His reaction is pretty much self-explanatory. I mean, look at him. He also stated in another interview that Dr. Mario's career may not be as legitimate as we might have thought. Well, color me surprised. Not. It's obvious that Dr. Mario doesn't have the qualifications to be a doctor. I'm glad even Miyamoto agrees with me now. Alright, we've pretty much established by now that Mario's cure to everything is taking a pill. Okay, whatever, let's pretend that's correct. Look at this now. This patient only has yellow viruses left in his body, and yet Mario keeps pumping pills of different colors into that patient's mouth. What good are those pills going to do except maybe give him other illnesses? What a irresponsible human being. He doesn't even take the time to check what pills to give to his patients. He just literally throws them at random. That is so dangerous. It's not even funny at this point. How is he still a doctor with what he's doing? This is truly disgusting and I wish someone would finally arrest that guy and put an end to this madness. I mean, come on, do something, someone, please. When Mario is not dressed as a doctor, what is he doing mainly? Well, collecting coins. And why would he be collecting all those coins all the time? Well, it's simple, I figured it out, guys. If you go online, you can buy fake diplomas and doctorates. This is definitely what Mario did if he's still practicing medicine to this day. He had to collect many coins to buy his fake doctorate from the internet, and now he's probably bribing people into not telling on him by giving them those coins. This is why Mario needs to collect so much, it's to pay for all of his illegal activities. That would explain why he practices medicine, or why he's still practicing medicine despite every weird stuff he's doing. That may also explain why he has so many pills in that bag. He buys them from shady drug dealers. Mario might even be in the mafia at this point. I mean, it wouldn't even surprise me, this is truly shocking. How can you guys still respect that crazy man? The 
Being a doctor is one of the hardest job ever. I mean, you have patient lives in your hands. You have so much pressure on you. You gotta do everything right. I mean, you don't have room for error. And since you touch and operate many patients, you have to use clean tools and have clean hands. Good thing Dr. Mario wears gloves. But wait a minute. Those gloves, they're not operation gloves. They're the same gloves Mario is always wearing. I mean, the same gloves he uses to pick dirty Koopa shells off the floor. The same gloves that he's using to glide down dirty walls. The same gloves he uses to crawl on the floor. Oh my gosh, this is disgusting. Mario operates on his patients with the same dirty gloves he's always using for everything else. Those gloves must be full of filth, of illnesses, they must be dirty as heck. Ah, this is truly disgusting. And I hope some of his patients will sue him, as this is completely unacceptable. Ah, Dr. Mario, you're definitely not a doctor. Hey, you don't want to miss anything and be sure to know when the next video is gonna come out? Well, follow me on Twitter. And if you want to be super cool and want to go the extra mile, subscribe to me on YouTube. Alright, bye!